Welcome to my humble abode, your go-to channel for skincare. I'm not a professional and I don't claim to be one. I'm just a girl who is crazy over skincare. Before I give you the scoop on today's video, shout out to Urban Sass for your girl's hair and lashes. Thank you Urban Sass for making sure that the girl comes to the people looking great. In today's video, we're going to be discussing another local brand picked by you called Squin Skin. When I find such a skincare line, there's three products that I'm looking for. The first is a cleanser, and in my cleanser, I needed to really deep cleanse my skin, and then I needed to hydrate my skin. So of course, it should not be stripping on my skin. The second product that I look for, and this is a controversial product, is a toner. If a brand doesn't have one, I'm not mad at it, but I am curious when there is one and in a toner, I'm not looking to cleanse my skin. I'm looking for a toner to pack in all of that goodness in my skin. If you're using a toner to cleanse your skin, um, so you take the cotton pad and you clean it and there's dirt on it, it, all it means is that your cleanser is not doing its job. And lastly, I am looking for a moisturizer and in a moisturizer, I just need it to hydrate my skin. I need to be packed with ingredients that are really going to protect my skin barrier and give my skin all of that goodness that it needs. So about the brand Squin, they say that they go after the best of nature and they believe in science. I'm loving them already because if you're a regular on my channel, you know that for me, a winning formula is a combination of natural and chemical. <laughs> this brand originates in Cape Town. They have a strong woman empowerment and they believe in protecting the environment. Loving them already. But let's get into their details and into their ingredient list. So I found three cleansers that they have. The one is a white wash purifying cleanser, then they have a butter cleanser, and then they have a gel to milk cleanser. I avoided getting the white wash purifying cleanser um, and the butter cleanser and opted for the gel to milk instead. Um, but I am going to run you through the white wash cleanser and why I didn't go for it. It has bentonite in it and bentonite is a clay. Um, for my dry skin, it is too much of an astringent. So when I see bentonite clay, I don't necessarily go towards it. It may not be that bad for somebody who has oilier skin. That cleanser has a really good ingredient list in general. However, they do have three different types of fragrances in it. And my stance on fragrance is that personally, I don't mind it. But if somebody has sensitive skin acne prone skin I don't think that they should have parabens fragrances essential oils in it because that is just very irritating to the skin personally my skin can handle it so I don't mind a fragrance and I definitely don't mind a fragrance in a cleanser because the fragrance is going to be washed away now to move on to the product that I did purchase this is the gel to milk cleanser this retails for 199 Rand in a 30 ml container. It says that it is a cleanser and a makeup remover. Its first ingredient is safflower seed oil and a oh girl I like my this ingredient because safflower seed oil is high in vitamin E. It is hydrating but it doesn't clog your pores and it's a really good ingredient. And then they have glycerin means that there's more moisture and they have sweet almond oil. Another great oil that absorbs into your skin well, but is not a commodogen, so it doesn't clog your pores easily. This here is where your skin gets cleansed. Your skin does an oil cleanse with the sweet almond oil, and that's how your makeup and your dirt is being removed. Then they have sucrose lucrate. That's basically the ingredient that allows the oil gel to turn to milk. Then they have the sucrose sterate and this is an emulsifier and the cleansing agent. So that's the ingredient list. I think that it's a good ingredient list overall, but I needed to test if it was deep cleansing, if the cleansing agents that they were using did the job. So that's why I ordered the product and girl, it failed like a... No swearing, we may have kids out. This did not pass the test. And how do I do the test? I go in with my toner, I do the cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I look at my cotton pad, and if there's shit on my cotton pad, ah, cut. So this definitely failed. 
it was a good experience it was very hydrating but definitely even when i was using it i could tell like this is not cleansing and deep cleansing the way it would i would assume that the white wash does a much better job but like i said for my skin type we ain't even trying that so that squint skin gel to milk is definitely a product that i won't be repurchasing they did not have a toner and this is not a problem for me like i said if a brand has a toner your girl just likes to see what the toner has and what the toner can do for me um like i said your toner is not your cleanser if you're if you're using your toner as your cleanser girl your cleanser ain't doing its job so just check it out and get a new cleanser Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. We're going to check their moisturize out. So they do have a few moisturizers, but the one that I opted for was the One Super Moisturizer. This retails for 279 Rand for 15 ml. Ooh, I know, but we'll talk about that later. Let's just kill its ingredient list. It has glycerin in it, and you know that I love glycerin for some moisture. Shea butter love me some shea butter shea butter is just so good i adore shea butter in a product and the reason i like shea butter is because it's so moisturizing it's so good for the skin it's good for most skin types because it doesn't easily clog into your skin like a coconut oil or an olive oil would so if you're acne prone and you have oily skin you guys should avoid coconut oil and olive oil and definitely look for shea butter instead then it has coconut oil in it, but um, and like I said, the reason that I don't like coconut oil is because it's a commodogenic, and what this basically means that is that it can easily clog your pores. It doesn't mean that it will clog your pores. It just means that if your skin is more prone to it being clogged, chances are that the product is going to clog your pores. So I wouldn't recommend this for somebody who has acne prone skin. And then it has, oh girl, and I'm going to have to read this name because you know some of them ingredient words are hard. Lactobacillus ferment. My actual career is investments, so we don't learn these words out there. So we're working on phonics, I. Right? So basically what that is, it's a probiotic. It fights against environmental damage and is anti-inflammatory. The product does have fragrance in it. It actually has Four fragrances in it so like I said if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin I do not recommend that you use fragrances because it can irritate your skin potentially cause a breakout however on my side my skin can handle it and I do enjoy a skincare experience I know as I get older I'm gonna have to let go of the fragrance you know, I should just do it sooner, but girl, I like the experience on my face. I like it when you come in, you say, hi, darling, and I say, hi, back, and you're like, oh, girl, you smell so good. I'm like, oh, thank you, you know, it's this moisturizer that I'm using, whatever, whatever. But I know that over time, I'm going to have to eventually let go of fragrance. I'm just enjoying it for now, but unfortunately, if you have the sensitive skin, you have acne-prone skin, this can potentially irritate you, so I wouldn't suggest it for you. Overall though, I really enjoyed using this product. Like I like it, my skin likes it. It's really hydrating and it does all of the right things for my skin type. So I really would suggest that if you have skin that's like mine, so very dry skin, not sensitive and not prone to acne. You'll love. Did I just hit my tongue so hard? I'm so sorry. <laughs> You will love this um, if your skin matches mine. Okay, but I'm gonna have to say something, right? There's something I like just really annoyed me. When you go onto the company website and you click on the ingredients for the products, so they have a list, they like they'll tell you about the product and stuff, and then they say hero ingredients. So for example, this here said that their hero ingredients were ceramide, hyaluronic acid saying it right i hope damn it i told you my career is investment we're doing phonics rooibos and honeybush why it irritated me is that these hero ingredients are really really amazing ingredients but they're sitting at the bottom 
of the ingredient list which means that the concentration of these really really good products are not high so that sort of for me was like misleading obviously if you don't know how to read products ingredients you're gonna think like oh my gosh I'm getting hyaluronic acid and Tatum said girl hyaluronic acid is the one for moisturizing in the meantime yeah that that just annoyed me I don't like you to steer me incorrectly you didn't say that it's the most concentrated um you did say that yes it is hero ingredients but i'm just like when i see hero ingredients you know i'm thinking oh highly concentrated in so that that there frustrated me sitting all your hero ingredients sitting at the bottom of the list i was like <sighs> so with my purchase they actually sent me a little sample and this is their photo light moisturizer so i was like okay let's look into the photo light moisturizer ingredients and give you feedback on that too so the ingredient list with this is glycerin, shea butter and coconut oil. You guys know I love glycerin and shea butter. I'm not too much of a fan of coconut oil. Then it had the probiotic, the one that I couldn't pronounce then. I'm not trying to do that again now. And overall its ingredient list is fine. You know the company really does know what they're doing. For me, it wasn't hydrating and moisturizing enough. So if you have oily skin, I think that that moisturizer would do you a lot better um obviously it has a coconut oil and if you have acne prone and sensitive skin i'm like maybe just test it you may not react to it but chances are that you have the probability of reacting to it but yeah as a dry baby definitely not a moisturizer that i will be buying i'd rather opt for the one super moisturizer which i I'm like completely loving okay and because I didn't have a toner I was like okay I know that I'm not necessarily looking for a serum but I'm gonna go and shop on their website and see what's there and they had a serum and this serum was called the wow wow wonder hydrating serum and this retails for 499 and 95 cents for 15 mil and your girl was like I ain't, I ain't got that type of coin for 15 mils but nevertheless we can dig into the ingredient list and if the people watching got the coin and if I say that it is top you guys can try it out and I can completely live through you how's that all right so it has aqua in it which is water and after that they have pentylene glycol this is a good ingredient it's a texture enhancer it's not harmful to the skin even though it is a preservative then they have and i'm going to be reading again sodium ascorbyl phosphate we're gonna go on google one day and actually learn how to pronounce these words right but for now i'm gonna always just put it at the bottom so you know what i'm talking about even if it's coming out wrong also a really good ingredient you know when i see a scorbal i know that somehow it comes from a scorbic and this is a staple ingredient so i'm happy with that you'll know when there's vitamin c involved your girl gets stressed out because vitamin c is not a very stable acid so it's a stable water soluble form of vitamin c so it's going to give you your glow and your antioxidants then it has white willow bark extract this is a natural alternative to my favorite salicylic acid which is your bha and it contains salicin and it works really good with the sodium ascorbyl phosphate is some research that says that there is some linkage to potential breakouts so the salicylic acid i'm just calling it salicylic acid works really well with the phosphate to prevent a potential breakup it's a really good combination that they put there then there's sodium hyaluronate so basically this here just mimics my favorite hyaluronic acid um which you guys know i absolutely love it's a natural humectant it draws moisture from the air it puts it into your skin and just moisturizes your skin so good and it has I think I'm, I hope I'm saying this right, please forgive me if I'm not, phytic acid, which is your antioxidants and your AHAs. So, yo, so when I looked at this ingredient list, I was like, wow, this serum is so good, guys, like, 
Yo, it is proper. Like, I ain't joking. This serum is really, really good. It has great chemical exfoliants in it. It seems like it's hydrating. The problem is that I don't have 500 Rand for a 15 ml serum, unfortunately. If you have that coin, splurge, girl. Splurge, boo. Tell me about it so I can live through you, please. Okay, so my overall thoughts. Um, I think that the ingredient list that they use here is really, really good. Like, the products that they put in, except for the coconut oil, like, it makes sense as to why the things are expensive, because these oils are expensive oils. So the ingredients are really thought out. They're not harmful to you. Um, it has opaque packaging, but then there's also preservatives, so it's just double. So I'm really happy that the company, you know, when there's natural ingredients involved, they can break down really easily. So obviously this is where preservatives and your packaging comes in, and the company's already thought of that, so that makes me quite happy. Whew, but their price, girl, she is expensive. She is really good, but she is steep. Personally, this product line is just unsustainable for my pocket. They got some gem products in there, no doubt. But hopefully one day, um, I'll be wealthy enough and I'll be able to afford squin skin on a sustainable level. Once again, fam, thank you so much for watching my video. If you've gotten this far, you might as well just subscribe to my channel. Normally, this is the part where I tell you that you should click the notification bell because my next video is going to be... Doo -doo -doo. But I'm still working on that, so just do it anyway. Fabulous time being with you guys. I will see you again.